is what? Part two of inequalities and equations. <laughs> okay, so first book, first um, example is this up here. So get it right in your notebook. So four parentheses x minus three is greater than six. Now make sure you um, distribute. Make sure you get that done first. <laughs> Go ahead. Yep. And then go ahead and see if you can remember how to solve this. This is a simple one. No, I don't know. It's going to be. Uh, it might be. No, not going to be. Should be. Going to graph it? Uh, let's wait to graph. Let's get the right answer first. Well, if I add to 28, 28 divided by 4, isn't that 7? Oh, 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 oh. 6 was I'm sorry, 18. Yeah, it's going to be a decimal. My bad. I kept thinking it was 16. So, yeah, let's see. Let's add 12. Add 12. I have 4x is greater than 18. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. Well, you could even keep it as a fraction if you wanted to. If you want to keep it as a fraction, that's okay. So, it would be x is greater than 4.5. Ready? Another question I had yesterday was how do you graph ones that have fractions in them? Okay. So you could do that, or it'd be very easy to graph with a fraction too. So if I put four and a half in the middle, you could do four and three fourths. Then you could do five. I mean, four and one fourth. You could do four, you could do a lot of things. You could do four and a half, you do five, five and a half. Four. Do you see how that was? That's considered a number line. So as long as you have the same interval, what's interval mean again? It goes up or down by the same thing. It should be fine. It should work fine. And this would be looking like this. That's what this would look like. Okay. Let's get to something a little more. Oh, not quite. But we can do this one too, I guess. I'll get you some more difficult ones. These are easy. I will. You can do it. Yep. All inequalities today. Yep. Should be that four. Should be the four. If you want to turn it around, it would look like this. If you wanted to turn it around. Also going to be a fraction, right? Or a decimal. No, let's just not. Let's just not. Let's just get. The, let's work on getting the right answer right now. Let's work on getting the right answer. So then you're going to minus eight from both sides. And you're going to get negative five is less than four x. Divide by 4, am I dividing by a negative? No, so I don't have to flip anything. So it's really, it's going to be like negative 1.25 or 1 and a fourth. It's less than an x. Or if you like the other way, depends how you like to put it. I like variable first. I think it looks neater when the variable's first. Yep. So you do 1.25 negative, and this way is going to get bigger, so it would be negative 1. And then, let's see, negative 0.75. This would be negative 1.50. You could do it like that. And then, let's see, go like this. What's that? Oh, I don't know. I guess, to me, it makes more sense to have an interval like this. What would you do? Oh, so you put like your circle in between here somewhere? Oh, like I had like that. I had the 1.25, but I just 
Oh, well, okay, I see what you mean, but let's try to keep our intervals the same. Let's try, anyway, because otherwise I don't want you to get confused later down the road. So just try to keep your intervals the same. But I know what you're getting at. Alright, let's try bigger ones. Let's try bigger ones. Woohoo, this is the hard stuff. This is the more fun stuff. First, first distribute. First distribute. Let's see, where's my book? Oh, and just so you know, inequalities don't have null sets or identity sets. Just so you know. I don't think anyway. Why are they in the same lesson? Because you're basically doing, the, they're basically, I do, they're basically doing the same thing except that one has an inequality sign, one has an equal sign. That's why they're in the same lesson. out to be a whole number. Comes out to be a negative number. Only if you divide in the end. So let's say, okay, so I'm going to do it quick. I'm going to minus 4a from both sides. So I have 1a minus 8. That's what it looks like now. Okay? I'm going to add 8. And then it looks like this. 1a greater than or equal to negative 4. So what am I going to divide by? 1, right? Is my 1 negative? Then I don't switch any signs. So be a is greater than or equal to negative 4. Um, remember, this is the number that has to be negative for you to switch that sign. Okay? The one with the variable. The one with the variable. All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. So let's do 5x minus 9 greater than or equal to... 2x plus 6. And then after this, we'll do some that we have to switch the signs actually, so you can see what that looks like. What's that? so bad, is it? No. So bad. That's, that's why I can't all stuff. It would have been hard. It would have been just too much. Yep. I totally get it. That's why the hardest part in this section was working with the variables, like learning that, because then you know how to do it for this. So, so that was the hardest part. All right. So somebody tell me, one step, what'd you do? What's the first step you did? Kate? Then it looks like this. Uh, next step, Hannah. Good. Could you minus five? Yeah. Oh, should be two. Okay, next step, Lydia. Okay. So then it looks like this. Olivia! 
Just three, right? I know what you meant. I gotcha. I gotcha. This is your answer. Good job. Let's do one that you have to change the sign so you can actually see one of these. All right. So let's do 2P plus 5. Uh, let's see. Greater than or equal to 3P minus 6. Oh, that should go on the... All right, give that a whirl. That's fine, you can use whatever you want. Should have to. Should have to sign. No. What? Never mind. I'll do another one where you have to switch the sign. I have no idea. So it'll be 3p minus 18. So. Oh, I see. Shoot. You don't have to for this one? This, this one says you do, okay, maybe this answer's wrong then, we better do it. Because I've, in my book it says you do, 2p plus 5, less than or equal to 3p minus 18, right? Sometimes it does. Alright, so then you probably minus 3p, 2p, right? Okay, so then it looks like this. Hey, quiet please. Oh, I know what they did. I know what they did. They did this. But this is how they had it written in my book. That's how they had the book. So they put the variable in front. Yep. Okay, now let's try another one. Let's see if this one works out to change the sign. No. 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 Yeah, that's why. All right, let's try one more. Let's see if this one works. Let's see if this one works. Okay, try this one. See if this one you have to switch sign. I hope so. Just remember when you do this, you guys. No, you can have greater than or less than. So this would be negative 2k. I just want to make sure you get this distributed right. Why is this? Because I have negative 2 times positive 1. No, it's negative 2 times positive 1. I could do plus negative 2, but that, that gets confusing then. So if you do that, you have to remember to still plus your 2 here to get rid of it. Okay, so are you here? Are you here, Emma? Okay, so you could do two things. You could minus 5k from both sides, or I could add 2k to both sides. Mm -hmm, that is tricky. Maybe they changed it again. It's very possible. Didn't work? I think they make it so they just flipped it like the last one again. Yeah. Maybe they don't. Maybe you don't. I don't know. So let's see. Yeah, so they just flipped it again. So they, they want the variable in front. So it looked like this. There. That's no. I'll figure it out. Alright, so hold on. Still, when you're doing your homework though, 
Pay attention. Because if this number would be negative, you're going to have to flip that. Okay? So still pay attention. Sorry I didn't have a good example of that. I thought the book would do a better job, but guess not.